and today we are going to be moving through a good old-fashioned vinyasa flow, linking movement with breath. So let's get started. Seated position, sitting up nice and tall, gently closing your eyes, and settling in here. Let go of your day so far. Let go of anything you have to do later. Land here in this moment now. Begin to softly deepen your breath, longer inhales and fuller exhales. And as you deepen your breath, notice if there's areas in the body where you're holding tension or tightness where you can start to let go. And then setting an intention here, maybe one or two words, maybe a mantra, whatever you want to carry with you off your mat when you finish your practice. that in mind, take a full breath in, breathe in through the nose, fill up, open your mouth, exhale out. One more inhale, fill up, open your mouth, exhale out, and then inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, fold over your legs. You want to press back through your hips here, stretch your arms out in front of you, and let your upper body drop towards the earth. Let your head hang heavy. Relax through your jaw and your forehead. And then slowly start to walk your hands over to the left. Reach as far as you can through your left hand. When you can't reach any further, stretch your right hand towards the back of your left. And pause here, breathing. Imagine you're sending breath, especially to your right side body. Slowly come back through center, this time walking your hands over to the right side. Left hand stretching to the back of your right. And continuing to drive back through your left hip. Finding equal effort and ease in the stretch. And slowly make your way back through center. And then roll up one vertebrae at a time. Once you've rolled all the way up, come to a tabletop position. Open your eyes. Yeah, you can open your eyes. <laughs> or if you can feel your way there, that's okay too. Okay. And in tabletop, bring your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees, and begin to move through some cat-cows. Each inhale, drawing open, gaze up. And each exhale, pressing through, rounding your back body. Inhale, drawing open. And exhale, stretching from your tailbone to the top of your head. Take a couple more, just like that, moving with your breath. If you want to close your eyes again here, you can do that. Feel free to add in additional movements, maybe through your hips or your shoulders from side to side, if that feels good. Make your way back to a neutral spine. Once you get there, send your right hand out in front of you. Draw your left leg back behind you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, knee and elbow meet. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, hug through center. Inhale, out. Exhale, through center. Inhale, long. Exhale, drop just your right hand down. Take your left foot, bringing it up and over to the back right corner of your mat. Press down to the ball of your foot. Spike back through your heel and look over your right shoulder. Bend through your left elbow here. Feel a stretch through your left side. Inhale and exhale, release. Coming back to tabletop, setting up on the other side, your left hand drawing forward and your right leg pressing back. Inhale, exhale, connect through center. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, draw through. Inhale, long. Exhale, through center. 
Inhale out, hold here. Drop just your palm down. Take your foot up and over to the back left corner of your mat. Gaze over your left shoulder this time. Bending through your right elbow, pressing down evenly through both hands. And back through center tabletop. Inhale, stretch open through your chest. Exhale, round, tuck your toes under. And then hover here. Create a neutral spine as you lift your shins up. Pressing back through your heels and your hips. Pressing long through the top of your head. A little bit of softness in the elbows. Begin to deepen your breath. With your next exhale, press all the way back down dog. Pedal out your feet. Rock your hips side to side. And then create stillness here. Pressing down evenly through your palms and through the bottoms of your feet. Setting your gaze at one spot behind you. And drawing your belly button in and up towards your spine, really engaging your core here. And then relax through the muscles of your face as you inhale and exhale out. Take your gaze to your hands, slowly walk forward and land in ragdoll at the top edge of your mat. Once you've come to your ragdoll, take any variation that feels best in your body today. You can let your fingertips drop down, grab for opposite elbows, let hands interlace behind your back, your neck, whatever feels best to you. Find a gentle sway from side to side. And with each breath, see if you can lift your hips just a little bit higher towards the ceiling. With each exhale, ground down through your feet just a little bit more. Find that strong foundation here. With an exhale, release your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Fold, exhale out. <coughs> Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, fold, exhale. With an inhale, slowly roll up, one vertebrae at a time, reaching arms up and overhead. Once you do that, grab hold of your left wrist with your right hand, and then take your left hand up and over to the right. Press down through your feet, soften through your knees, feel that deep stretch through your left side. With an inhale, come back through center. And with an exhale, switch your grip, change sides. Right hand reaching over to the left. Softening your shoulders. Opening through your chest. Good. Inhale, come back through center. Open your arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Step back, high plank position. Knees can be up or down here. We're gonna take a few deep breaths. Take a breath in and breath out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling to cobra or up dog, open up through your upper body. And exhale, press back, down dog. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, gaze forward to your hands. Exhale, step or hop forward. Halfway lift. Fold. Rise, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Interlace your hands here. With an inhale, press your palms forward. Open up. With an exhale, round your back body. Tuck your chin towards your chest, hands down. Inhale, palms reach up, gaze up. Exhale, round your back body, hands down. I like that. Inhale, one more. Open up, open your palms up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back, high plank position, hold here. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, chaturanga. With the inhale opening through your upper body, and with your exhale, hips go high, down dog. Breath in, breath out. 
Look forward, go forward. Halfway, fold, rise, fold. Left hand in front of your feet, inhale, reach your right hand up. Bend through your left knee, straighten through your right leg. Really reach your right fingertips high. Opening through your upper body, chest spiraling towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold. And inhale, taking it to the other side. Left fingertips reaching up. Straightening through your left leg here. Bending through your right knee. And pressing down evenly through both feet as you breathe in. And exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Rise up, reach high, fold forward, exhale out. Halfway lift, high plank, hold it in high plank, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, flow. Breath in to open up, and exhale back, down dog. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg, bend your right knee, Open up through your hip. Press down evenly through your hands. Keep drawing back through your left heel. Exhale, knee towards your chest. Inhale, open up again. Exhale, knee in. Inhale, open up. One more. Exhale, knee in. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug through. Step through warrior one. Arms reach up high, bend through your front knee, create that deep lunge through your right leg. Fingertips reaching high towards one spot above you. And with an exhale, opening up, warrior two. Press down evenly through your feet. Really ground down to the outside edge of your left foot here. And press your right knee towards your right pinky toe. Go with an inhale, flip your right palm, reverse up and back behind you. And with an exhale, extended side angle. Take any version here that feels good. You can rest your right elbow on your right thigh, or you can bring your right fingertips inside of your right foot. Wherever you are creating space and opening for your upper body, and continuing to breathe really deeply here. With your next exhale, come back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse, straighten your front leg and triangle, reaching forward. Right hand coming down towards the earth. Left hand reaching high towards the ceiling. Shine your heart up towards one spot. And if it feels okay in your neck, take your gaze to that spot. Good. Take another inhale here. And with an exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse, up and back. Exhale, hands to the mat, moving through your flow. You can always skip the vinyasa and move straight back to downward facing dog. Once back and down dog, breathe in. Open your mouth, exhale out. Inhale, lift your left leg up, bend your knee, open your hip. Ground down through your right heel, press evenly through your hands. And then exhale, knee in towards chest. Inhale, open your leg up. Do you feel like you're glistening? <laughs> exhale, knee in. <laughs> and open up. Good. Knee in. Mm -hmm. Open up. Knee in. Step through this time. Warrior one. Build it from the ground up here. Really press down through both feet. Square forward through your hips. And engage your core. Draw your belly button in and up. Good. Gaze at one spot ahead of you as you inhale. And with your exhale, open it up. Warrior two. Take a second here to find your footing again. See if you can bend just a little bit deeper through your front knee. Notice if you're shifting forward or back in your upper body. Stand really tall and strong. 
With an inhale, flip your front palm, reverse, take it up and back behind you. And with your exhale, shift forward, extended side angle. Taking whatever variation you took on the first side, or if that's not available on this side, moving into a position that feels really good here. Continuing to open through your left hip, and at the same time, opening through your right shoulder. Spin up through your heart, breathe in, and exhale back, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, up and back behind you. Straighten through your front leg so you can shift forward into triangle. Drawing your left hand down, reaching your right hand high. So legs are straight here without being locked. Feet are pressing down without gripping through your toes. It's that effort and ease. Gaze to one spot, breathe in. And exhale back, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, up and back. Exhale, flow, hands to the mat, moving through your vinyasa. Once you come back to down dog, take a breath in. Exhale out. And then coming into dolphin from there, you're going to bring your forearms down to the mat. You haven't done dolphin for a long time. Yeah. Keep your hips high. Bring just a little bit of softness to your knees. And see if you can start to walk your toes in towards your elbow points. Walk as far as you can. Ground down through your heels. Engage your abs. Let go of any tension through your neck, through your jaw, through the space between your eyes. With an inhale, lift your right leg up. Hold it here. Flex your right toes back towards you. Heel towards the ceiling, breathe in, and exhale, lower your right foot down. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. With each breath in, lift your left heel higher. With each exhale, press your right heel lower. Take a breath in, and exhale, lower your left heel down. Child's pose. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. Drop your knees wide. Drop your forehead to your mat. And then reach your hands back towards your heels. Give your shoulders a break here. If it feels good, gently sway your head from side to side. Notice if you're still creating your really deep breath. And if you're not, no judgment, just come back to that now. Long inhales, full exhales. Once you've reconnected to your breath, make your way back to downward facing dog. And with an inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, knee in, step your foot through a runner's lunge. Hands straight ahead, foot straight ahead. Drive back through your left heel. And then inhale, reach your arms up. Good. Gaze straight at one spot. Take a breath in, lift just a little bit higher. Exhale, reach your arms back behind you. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, reach your arms back. Inhale, arms up. Hold here. We're going to come through to eagle. So you're bringing your left leg up and over your right. Left arm underneath your right. And sitting low. Good, gaze straight ahead at one spot. Breathe in, breathe out. Unwind, coming into airplane from here. Press back through your left foot. Ground down through your right foot, press through the top of your head, and half moon. Right hand coming down, left hand reaching high. To open through your upper body, keep lifting your left heel towards the ceiling. You've got it. And fold. Good work. Thank you. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold, exhale out. Utkatasana, sit low. Press your hips back. 
Drive down through your heels so you can lift your toes off the mat. And then bring your hands to the heart center. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow coming over your right thigh. Gaze moving out to one spot beside you. An option to keep your palms pressed together or to open your arms up. So with each inhale, lengthen. Each exhale, twist just a little bit further. With your inhale, come back through center and exhale, fold. Rise, inhale, reach up. Fold forward, exhale out. Halfway lift and flow. Once you get back to down dog, take a breath in. Open mouth, exhale out. Inhale, left leg lifts. Hug your knee in. Runner's lunge. Hand steps with, or hand, foot steps between your hands. Crown of your head presses forward, chest starts to open here. Good, then lifting hands off the earth, coming to crescent, hands reach up, squeeze your thighs towards the midline here. With an inhale, reach just a little bit higher. And with an exhale, draw your hands back, chest forward. Inhale, arms up. Really connect into your feet. Yeah, <laughs> exhale back. Nice wide stance helps too. Inhale up. Exhale back, inhale high, hold here, and then start to get ready for that transition, coming into eagle. Right leg swinging up and over, right arm coming under, take your time setting up here. If it takes a couple hops, that's okay. Yeah. Press down through your left foot, square forward, lift your elbows, and airplane. Swing your right leg back. Really press down through your hands here. Imagine that you're pressing into end tables beside you. Set your gaze ahead of you. And transition half moon. Left well, hand down. Yeah. I was just gonna say, if, if your hand doesn't reach the floor and you have a block or even just a really tall book to place your fingers on, a really nice big thick Dictionary? Does anybody still have a dictionary? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Lift open for one more breath in. And exhale, hold. <sighs> Feet together. Upper body dropping forward. Inhale, halfway. Fold, exhale out. Utkatasana, sit low. <laughs> this is the only other one of these that we're doing. So sit as low as you can. Squeeze okay. your thighs together. Trust Hands you. meet. Inhale, open, exhale, twist. I'm gonna do this variation today. Right elbow pressing into the outside of your left thigh. Heart reaching towards your thumbs if your hands are together. If arms are open, really press your top hand high towards the ceiling. Take a breath in, exhale out. Inhale through center, and exhale, fold. Good work, take a couple breaths here, sway from side to side. Then start to take your feet wide, setting up for Malasana, deep squat. Pressing your elbows into the insides of your thighs. Thighs pressing back into your arms. Hips sitting low as you press the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Drop your left hand to the left side of your mat. And with an inhale, reach your right hand up high. Open through your upper body. Good. Come back through center. Taking it to the other side. Right hand reaching to the right side. Left hand reaching up. Heart opening, hips low, you've got this. And coming back, and then just coming to a seat from there. We're gonna come into butterfly, bringing the feet together, hands interlacing at the tops of the feet. Inhale, chest open, and exhale, fold. Mm. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. 
allow your head to drop heavy. And just notice the quality of your breath here. See if you can start to deepen a little bit more. Breath in, breath out. And then slowly from there, transitioning onto your back, setting up for one bridge or wheel, bringing your heels in towards you so that your hands can almost graze your heels, opening your chest up, and with your inhale, pressing up through your hips. Lots of different options here. You can interlace your hands under your low back. You can take your palms open beside you. You can take your hands to the outsides of your shoulders, beginning to straighten your arms up and pressing into your wheel. Wherever you are, continue to lift higher with each breath in. Open your chest with each exhale out and slowly lower down. Once your back reaches the mat, coming into Sukha Vadakonasana, bringing the soles of your feet together, allowing your knees to drop wide. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your hands to the outsides of your thighs, Draw your knees in towards your chest and gently roll from side to side here. Massaging your back against your mat. And then coming back through center and setting up for bicycles. Your knees staying over your hips, hands coming behind your head. Straighten your right leg out. And then draw right elbow to left knee. Inhale through center. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale through center, exhale switch. So moving with your breath, nice slow controlled movement here. See if you can bring your elbow to your knee without bringing your knee over your hip. <laughs> you can hear the effort in my <laughs> voice. It's so difficult to do obviously. <laughs> Very difficult. I'm not there, but I'm, I'm getting But there. trying, yeah. making that the effort, the yeah. intention. Effort and ease, yeah. Yeah, more effort right now. Keep your chest <laughs> open. More than anything, continue to breathe. Drawing your low back down towards your mat. We're going for five, four, three, almost there, stay with it for two. Last one, <coughs> and release. Mm -hmm. Hug your knees towards your chest. Roll gently side to side. And then rock and roll front to back, setting up in down dog to take pigeon. If you know that doesn't work for you, you can stay on your back, set up to thread the needle. Right leg is going to swing through first. So your right knee is going towards your right wrist. Your left leg is going back behind you. Upper body squaring forward as you gently fold over your front leg. Stay active through your lower body, pressing down through the top of your left foot and your left thigh, pressing your right shin into your mat. And then start to relax through your upper body. Gently roll out through your head, your neck, your shoulders. That's hard for me to do, so I've been um, releasing my palms up, and it seems to keep me more relaxed when they're not in front of me. So try that if you like. If it's hard for you to release the tension in your upper body. Take another breath in. And with your exhale, slowly start to make your transition back to down dog. Yeah. Tucking your left toes under, bringing your right foot back to meet your left, and then opening the hip if it feels good. And setting up front on the left side. Left knee drawing in. Your right foot pressing straight back behind you. Take that moment to square forward. And then start to fold. Carry 
your breath through the pose, even here. So sometimes in those more active poses, it's um, feels more natural to really create that length with the breath. And it can slowly start to kind of sink away as you get into the stretching holds. See if you can really maintain that breath here, each inhale filling up and each exhale going deeper into your stretch. Two more full breaths where you are. And then slowly at the end of your second breath, make your way back to your final down dog, making any movement that you need to make here. If you want to take the counter stretch by opening the hips up, stretch back through your calves. Once you've made that movement, taking your gaze towards your hands, walking your feet through, starting in a seated position with your legs out in front of you. Feet flex back towards you, inhale, sweep your arms up, and exhale, fold forward. With your inhale, open your chest up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Last one, lift up, and exhale, hold here, breathing. Slowly begin to rise, one vertebrae at a time, rolling onto your back. And once you get there, hug your right knee in towards your chest. Draw your right knee over to the right side. If it feels good, you can grab to the outside of your foot and straighten through your leg. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> I was listening. Out to the right <laughs> side. Yeah. You should take that direction um, off too. Good, it's good. Feels good. And then we'll bring it back through center. Inhale here. And exhale, find your supine twist. Drop your right hand and your right shoulder down to the right side of your mat. If that feels okay in your neck. Take your gaze over in that direction. You can keep your eyes closed here, just dropping your head off to that side, doing the full twist. Slowly shift back through center, send your right leg long. And then hug your left knee in towards your chest. <laughs> Drop your left knee to the left side. Open. Okay. There's a delivery in there. <laughs> oh. Real life yoga. That's what you promise.
taking your hands to meet at Heart Center. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to stay here. <laughs> Real practice today. I loved it. The lightness honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Namaste. Click subscribe.